You know, it was a, obviously another heartbreaking loss to, again, lose at the buzzer like that. Um, and I think it's, it, it was all predicated on us losing our aggressiveness. You know, we missed, what, 14 of our last 15 shots because I thought we became passive. Uh, we were aggressive all game, breaking their press. We were aggressive against all their zones. And then all of a sudden, in the last four minutes, we, we decided to hold the ball and slow things down. And we get passive, and we didn't play in that attack mode. Uh, and that led to transition baskets when you miss 14 out of 15. Um, and you got to finish and close out games. Obviously, you guys are still learning each other. You're a new mm. team. But just how much frustration is there after two back-to-back home games? That yeah, I think it's very frustrating uh, for everybody. Um, you know, uh, uh, I think our, our, our point guard play, the two young point guards, you know, Taryn and, uh, and um, Renee Castro in the second half, we had them in at the same time to be point guards together in control. And I just, um, they weren't in sync. I didn't think we executed. I didn't stay, I think we stayed with the game plan of being aggressive. Um, and as point guards, they have to command that. And I don't think we did a great job of that. But again, that takes practice and time and we did a scenario at the end of practice yesterday uh, we handled it well we won it and then it comes over to the game and this is two games back to back now that we have to do a better job I think you know as as much as our offense actually more of our offense than it was our defense you know we attacked and that was the game plan to attack their zone and we attacked it for 36 minutes and then all of a sudden the last four we become passive um, and, and that's on us we got to do a better job with that you weren't real happy with the final play and how that played out. Just, you know, what did you see? Well, from my angle, it looked like a complete push off um, to get the shot off. Obviously, a kid made some talent plays, but that, you know, it shouldn't even got to that. So the referee saw it differently. Did you like the way Renee responded this game? He came out in, the in the first half. In the first half, he struggled in the second half. But did you like how he responded? Yeah, in the first half. I thought he played well in the first half. Hey, listen, guys, we were we had 11 assists and six turnovers in the first half. And then we finish with 16 assists and 15 turnovers, you know. And when your point guards have, what, seven or eight between them, that, that's tough. That's tough. And I think uh, they just got to get used to playing more. It's got to get used to playing more. We got to make better decisions. And we got to play with the mindset of attack and execute. And we did a poor job of that. Players were talking about offensive boards being the point of emphasis on the scout. How did you feel that you guys did before that run occurred? Us offensive rebounding? Yes. We did a poor job offensive rebounding. Okay, they played zone the whole game. We only got 10 offensive rebounds when we shot 37%. Against a zone team, you should be trying to get 40% of your misses back. We weren't even close. I think we had 20% of our misses back in the first half. And it was such an emphasis on what we needed to do, and we didn't do it. Conversely, they got 16 offensive rebounds, which really, really hurt us in the second half when they started breaking us down. Can you really pinpoint what happened during that passiveness in the second half? Uh, Emil put a lot of it on his shoulders. So yeah, we became passive, and then it became late clock, and then Emil tried to do things themselves. And then it, early in the game when we hit, you know, five for 13 threes and we had 11 assists is because we were attacking and we were seeing out. Then all of a sudden we got passive, and then it was attack late, and no one saw out because everybody tried to do it themselves, and we missed all those shots. Did you see the guys kind of worn down in the second half maybe? Or? I don't think we were worn down. No, I mean, no one really played. The most someone played was 30 minutes. I don't think anybody was worn down. I thought we got passive. I thought we got passive. And then when you miss all those shots, it's putting pressure in conversion defense to get back and guard those guys who, guys, listen, these, this team averages, you know, 86, 87 points a game. We held them to 66, 34% from the field, 32 from three. You got to win that game. At home, you got to win that game. And we didn't, and that's on us. First half, Josh made a couple nice shots first and back. How good is it to have him in the flow of the offense and the bright spots he did have to Yeah, it's good. I think Josh is a, is a guy that's got a good feel for the game, but he, he also fouled out in 17 minutes, and that showed his rust from not playing. You know, And again, he's a sophomore as well. Um, it's just a group together. We really, offensively in the first half, we were aggressive. We took good shots. We attacked. The second half, we became passive and took bad shots. Whenever you're young and you're playing eight games in November and don't have a lot of time to practice, are you almost destined to have repeat performance? Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's part of it. You'd, you'd hope it doesn't, but yeah, it's part of it. We're, we've played a lot of games um, with a young team um, without practice time. Practice time is where you get. So our practice time has been games. We're, we're making mistakes and we're making good plays during games. We're learning and watching a lot of film because it is what it is. You know, as part of an exempt tournament, you got all these games. Uh, in this short period of time. And we really don't have much time to, you know, regroup. We at least have two days. You know, we'll have to take tomorrow off, and we'll have two days to, to get better before we play Cleveland State. You guys have a meal on the free throw line there with a chance to, to wipe everything away. He makes two of 
of those and then maybe gives them a little different yeah, look if, on the other end. Yeah, if he makes one of them, we never know. You know, and, and uh, you know, he was aggressive in the first half. He carried us in the beginning, in the beginning of the second half. And you know, when you get an opportunity from the foul line, you, you got your job done. You got to the line. You got to step up, and make them. Before that, the second time. The, the same thing with the last game too. I think we, we left the free throw. We missed eleven free throws last game. Right. You know, we wouldn't be talking about this situation. For the same thing with last game too. You guys went to, to Mike Lewis out of the timeout to looking for a basket. What do you like out of him? Mike game? can create a shot. Okay, we got so stagnant that we ran a play. And we got two good looks. We got a good look on possession before that, on a throwback that Mike created, and then Mike got in for a floater that was in and out, rattled in and out. Mike can create a shot um, better than Taryn and uh, Renee. They're just not able to create shots right now for us. Um, so I think it was, it was the opportunity to get someone in there that could create a shot. And, it, and he did. I actually think those two possessions we actually did execute. Um, it was the one prior to that that were, that were poor. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a nice Thanksgiving.